Arduino Uno R4 Minima board. How to install this board in the Arduino IDE. Compare it side by side with the Arduino Uno R3 board. I have already done the unboxing of the Sun Founder Ultimate Sensor Kit and explained in detail which sensors and boards are included in this kit. We will use all these sensors one by one but first let's start with the Arduino Uno R4 Minima board because I haven't used this board before. So in today's video we will take a look at the technical specifications of the Arduino Uno R4 Minima board, compare it side by side with the Arduino Uno R3 board, I will also explain how to install this board in the Arduino IDE and this then in the end, we will run a simple program to control the onboard LED. So without any further delay, let's get started. The Arduino Uno R4 Minima represents a significant advancement in the Arduino Uno series. It is equipped with a robust 32-bit microcontroller provided by Renesis, a renowned semiconductor company. The introduction of a 32-bit microcontroller implies a leap in computing power compared to the traditional 8-bit microcontrollers found in earlier Arduino Uno versions. A microcontroller is like the brain of the Arduino board and the move from an 8-bit to a 32-bit microcontroller implies a significant increase in computing capability. This boost in processing power allows the board to handle more complex tasks and calculations. With expanded memory capacity, users have more space to store their programs and data, accommodating larger and more complex projects. This is especially beneficial for those working on projects that require extensive code or deal with a substantial amount of data. The Arduino Uno offer Minima introduces a variety of onboard preferences, notably features featuring a 12-bit DAC digital to analog converter, CAN bus controller area network, and OPAM operational amplifier. These added components significantly enhance the board's capabilities, offering increased flexibility in designing and implementing a broader range of projects. The Arduino Uno R4 Minima now supports a wider input voltage range, allowing power supplies up to 24 volts. This enables seamless integration with motors, LED strips, and other actuators, simplifying your project projects by utilizing a single power source. The Arduino Uno R4 Minima also comes with built-in HID human interface device support, enabling it to simulate a mouse or keyboard when connected to a computer via a USB cable. This convenient feature makes it a breeze to send keystrokes and mouse movements to a computer, enhancing usability and functionality. One notable advantage of the Arduino Uno R4 Minima is its backward compatibility. Despite the significant improvements it maintains compatibility with existing shields and accessories. This means that users can seamlessly transition from previous Arduino Uno models to the R4 Minima without needing to replace or modify their existing hardware. The standard form factor and 5 volt operating voltage remain unchanged, ensuring a smooth transition for users familiar with the traditional Arduino Uno setup. In essence, the Arduino Uno R4 Minima offers a substantial upgrade in terms of processing power, memory and onboard features while maintaining the familiar physical design of the Arduino Uno series. This makes it an attractive option for those seeking enhanced capabilities without sacrificing the convenience of the Arduino ecosystem. Let's do a side-by-side -side comparison of the Arduino Uno R4 Minima and Arduino Uno R3. The Arduino Uno R4 Minima and Arduino Uno R3 exhibit distinct features reflecting advancements and variations. The Arduino Uno R4 Minima is equipped with a Renesis RA4M1 microcontroller, leveraging the ARM Cortex M4 architecture, while the Arduino Uno R3 implies the 80 Mega 328 microcontroller. The Arduino Uno R4 Minima introduces a USB C programming port, providing a modern connectivity solution compared to the Arduino Uno R3 USB Type B. Both the Arduino boards maintain 14 digital I/O pins and 6 analog input pins. Additionally, the Minima board has a 12-bit take digital to analog converter while it's not available on the Arduino Uno R3. Both the boards have 6 PWM pins, 1 UART, 1 I2C bus and 1 SPI bus. The Arduino Uno R4 Minima has a CAN controller area network bus while it's not present in the Arduino Uno R3. Both the Arduino boards are 5-fold compatible controller boards. Notably, the Arduino Uno R4 Minima supports a wider input voltage range 6 to 24 volts whereas the Arduino Uno R3 supports 
7 to 12 volts. The DC current per eye open on the Arduino Uno R4 is 8 milliamps and on the Arduino Uno R3 it's 20 milliamps. The clock speed for the main core of the Arduino Uno R4 Minima is significantly higher at 48 megahertz, whereas the Arduino Uno R3 has a clock speed of 16 megahertz. A higher clock speed generally indicates a faster processing capability, allowing the microcontroller to execute instructions more quickly. This can be beneficial for applications that require rapid data processing or complex computations. The Arduino Uno R4 Minima has a significantly larger memory capacity, both in terms of flash memory for storing program code and in terms of frame for temporary data storage during program execution. The pins labeling on the female headers make it super easy for quick connections, eliminating the risk of connecting a wire to a wrong pin. It would have been greatly beneficial if they had also labeled the DIG digital to analog converter and the inputs and output of the operational amplifier. Anyway, digital to analog converter is available on the analog pin A0. So you can use this for reading analog sensors and you can also use it as a digital to analog converter. It has a default write resolution of 8 bits. This means that values that are written to the pin should be between 0 and 255. However, you may change this write resolution if you need 12 bits and in this case the values you write to the pin should be between 0 and 4096. You can simply use this instruction. Similarly, you can use the analog pins A1 and A2 as the OPM plus and minus pins and you can use the analog pin A3 as the OPM output. The power LED cannot be programmed. The classic built-in LED is attached to pin 13. These are the TX and RX LEDs. This is a full table of all the I.O. pins on the Arduino Uno R4 Minima. To use the Arduino Uno R4 Minima in the Arduino IDE, first you will need to install the Arduino Uno R4 Minima board. For this, go to the Tools menu, then to Board and click on the Boards Manager. Type Arduino Uno R4 Minima in the search box. Click on the Install button to install the Arduino Uno R4 boards included in this package. You can see we have Arduino Uno R4 Minima and Arduino Uno R4 Wi-Fi. You can see the Arduino Uno R4 boards have been installed. Now let's go ahead and check if the boards are available in the boards list. You can see the boards have been added and now we can select the Arduino Uno R4 Minima. I just connected my Arduino Uno R4 Minima board to the laptop. So let's go ahead and select the board it's connected to. To control the onboard LED, I have written this basic program. So let's go ahead and upload this program. The program has been successfully uploaded and you can see it's working. Let's change the delay to 400 milliseconds. Let's change the delay to 200 milliseconds. Now the LED is blinking fast, so that's all for now. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.